Welcome back to Prey Moon Crash. So we need to find Angela Wagner to get their connectome that will teach us how to pilot the shuttle and escape. And I noticed something. I just kind of assumed that we were heading to an escape pod, but that's not what we're actually doing. We're trying to escape in the shuttle, which is actually the story objective for this character. Which is different than what we did for the first character, where we escaped in a shuttle, but our story objective there was to escape, I'm putting quotes around escape, through the mimic portal. So there's at least three ways to escape. Escape pod, shuttle, and mimic portal. Which one you need to do for the story depends on the character, but I wonder if they're all open to some degree? Like if I go find an escape pod, can I just do that? And then we'll end this character's run. Obviously I won't have achieved the story objective, but would that work? Let's get to it. Angela's somewhere, somewhere here. Gonna try to probably avoid as many enemies as possible. Probably not gonna be thorough, because again, we're heading into corruption level 5. I don't have that much time. Just trying to be fast. I don't know what just saw me. I just saw a health bar for a sec. Oh, just the tentacle nest. Escape pause, executive level, Pythes Labs. So, and. Hmm? All right, I'm just gonna go this way. Yeah, Angela seems to be somewhere below me. Oh yeah, right, something else I forgot to mention. Since we're not going to an escape pod, what do I do with this escape pod navigation ship? I guess I should probably store it somewhere so another character can use it? Question mark? Okay, we got a poltergeist. Shit, I forgot how to fight them. Shit. Medical detention. Well, there's a lot of fire there. And I'm quite hurt and apparently on fire or something. Um... Hmm. Alright, that heals me, but that doesn't cure the status effect, right? Hold on, I, I think I have something for burning also. Oh, do I have the wrong weapon? I do have the wrong weapon equipped. I got the non-upgraded one for some reason. Okay, got that equipped. Don't need to repair it. That one's, this one's not broken. Now, there was something to heal burns. Not skeletal repair. Was it like skin graft stuff? Dermo web, dermal web skin graft? Yeah, heal burn trauma. There we go, nice. Guess I'll use the last medkit. God, medkits don't do much, do they? Let's glue cannon that. Okay, you little fucker. Undid my glue, and you made another. <laughs> Fuckers. Oh, two neural mods, nice. Do I have anything that takes two? Everything is pretty dang expensive. I mean, pretty much nothing except machine mind. I don't want that though. Okay. Jesus. Oh, this is just... Wait. This just went back around to the starting room, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, I've only got four shots of the shotgun left. Shit. Alright, I gotta be smart about my ammo use. Let me grab an explosive to throw. Oh. Hmm. Well, hold on. Got, got a couple steps to do here. Don't you love it when the, when the glue 
cannon stuff gets in the way of actually being able to seal the leak. Now I just, now I just can't really seal it without killing myself. Shit. I don't think that. W Whoa. Yeah, okay, that doesn't work against these things. Alright then. How about we just recycle you? That. That wasn't even in range. I'm a failure. Terrible. I almost got killed by a tentacle nest. Wow. It's all right, we're learning. Yeah, that's the thing about this, this DLC compared to, oh, I can harvest these. Compared to the base game, is those lessons aren't just saved before the lesson, learn the lesson, and then reload. I'm almost certainly going to have to play through this many, many times to be able to actually fully complete the DLC. Because I learned my lesson, and I'm probably going to die or put myself at a very, in a very bad position, where I'm almost dead. No! Oh yeah, so here's some explosives. This is what I wanted to get to, but then I got burned. Medkit fabrication plan. <laughs> that could go banana. Alright, we got some materials from the recycler charge. What the fuck? Why did that blow up? Did a tentacle hit it? Holy shit. These don't go as far now that we're not in low gravity. Huh. Also... I entirely forgot that I have this ability. I don't know if it would have really saved me in any particular way. I could use that to just zoom past them, huh? Alright, I'm gonna go past. Okay, that's locked. Holy crap. I can go to the restroom, <laughs> or upstairs. Ah, oh, fuck! Got some range! Give me huge blueberries. Space berries, yes. Use cigar. Mm-hmm. Beautiful sights. I'm gonna die. Okay, Jesus Christ. Yeah, this is the opposite direction that I want to go, though. I need to go down to get to Angela Wagner. Whoa. Closet. Ah, so I want... I want to get all this stuff, but... Ah, I don't have time. It's almost corruption level 5. I do need health, though. Oh, God, it's so pretty. 
That will buy us a little bit of time. Almost literally. I'm not actually buying it, but, you know, almost literally. I forgot what you can do with those plants. I think just recycle them, right? You can't eat them or anything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Attention, everyone. We have a very special announcement from our facility director. This is Director Riley Yu. I'm pleased to authorize our new skill sharing initiative. If you're selected, it means you have an important ability we like to capture and share with your co workers. The first participant will be. Hold on, I believe we have a new chipset. MechTech. Reduces the time it takes to repair an object. Collect more disruptor and Q-beam ammunition from robotic corpses. Increases the battery life of the flashlight. Nice. And we got five neural mods now. Let's try some more Psy stuff. Electrostatic Burst. Creates an electrostatic burst that deals up to 25 damage within 3 meters of the targeted area. Also, it disrupts electronic equipment, stuns robotic targets for 3 seconds, and stuns biological targets for 2 seconds. That sounds very good, actually. Decent amount of damage, and also just being able to stun enemies is pretty valuable. I'm not sure what exactly constitutes disrupting electronic equipment, though. So I'm not sure what that means. Pilot, Captain Ramon Delgado, who will be Ooh, Q -beam. And I do believe that is upgraded. Let's see. So, holds a little bit more power. Handling's a bit better. Yeah. Better power, better handling. Cool. To the lab for a film update. And congratulations. Oh, whoa, look at... Wait a minute, what the heck? I... Is this new? Like, does this get activated when you get a certain amount of items to select through, or did I just never notice? No, this is definitely new. It's an infinite scroll wheel. It's, that is so cool. Oh, that is super cool. I love just looking at that. Right. So whatever Psy ability you have is going to be the on the one and only thing that will be used when you right click. So if you want to change that, gotta do that and then you can right click it. Gotcha. Do I still have a bit of ammo with a shotgun? Mm, three shots. That is a friendly science operator. Scanning. Neural imaging shows your psychoactive potential is at or near peak level. Ah, right, they do sigh. All sorts of thingies that I will eventually look at. As a different character. Increases the movement and aiming speed while firing the glue cannon or Q-beam. Reduces the time it takes to pick up leverage objects. Probably won't help very much, but certainly doesn't hurt. Riley you. Psychoscope. Unlocked him. Nice. So how does this thing work again? Mark and scan nearby enemies. Reveals new abilities you can acquire by installing neural mods. Detect disguised mimics, burrowed moon sharks, and invisible poltergeists. Okay. Nice. Ah, right, this. Yeah, this thing. So before I actually had the psychoscope, I had this ability to, like, enter a mode and zoom in, but it just didn't actually have the whole scope thing. Okay, I need a whole ass. Need to. Do some shotgun sales, yes! Typhon lure. 
Hell yeah, petri dish sample. No. Lemon peel and udon noodles. You can keep those. I should be eating this food, shouldn't I? Mmm, jelly deals. Oh, thank god it's going down. That's where we need to go. Oh, this is just the restroom, isn't it? It doesn't help much. Engineering workshop. <laughs> Weakness, none, immunity, none. See. Observation log. Researcher, researcher Lewis Sullivan Jr. Removing the weaver spinneret seems to have caused an unexpected mutation within our weaver population. In anticipation of future threats, weavers may eject organ designation E7, which seems to transform into a separate organism with multiple hostile tendrils. More research will need to be conducted. Peter's notes. Kinda dumb if you ask me. They'll literally go after anything that moves. They have some paw-type organ in them, though, that might be useful. I think Riley's the only crew member with the proper know-how for removing them. Go after anything moving. You don't say. Toilet paper? Okay, that's cool, but I think I need to kill this- Whoa! Oh, fuck! Jesus! Always surprises me how long they can go. I think I want to kill that one just so I can get a good look at that door, because I think I need to go in that door. Hello. But, uh, let's go here first. Utilities. Allow access to the lower labs, yes! Unlocked, nice. Area map, I will not use it, but I will take it. Fascinating. Escape pod status. No escape pods remaining, so I can't even use an escape pod. Has reports. Everything's powered. Um, we know the tram works. Supply closet. Okay. Okay. Ooh. I could really use some more of that skin graft stuff. Cure my burns. Alright, let's throw something. Did that break my weapon? God, everything destroys these weapons just... Just, like, instantly. I get the feeling this is gonna be a very bad place. Let's do another delay time. So, if I just stop moving, will I be fine? Let's, um, let's do a turret. Oh shit, I should have done a turret back there. Why didn't I? 
The problem with Prey is that there's so many things you can do, I forget about like 75% of them. Yeah, that was so easy. Thanks, Donna. Right, stop dawdling, focus. Hello, my evil friend. Towards the escape pods is Angela Wagner. Definitely take a med kit. Kind of want to wait for my turret to come back. Hornbill just shot me in the ass. Scanning target, no alien material detected. Warning. No escape pods remaining. Please try another escape pod station. Or contact security for emergency assistance. Log submitted. Come on. Oh god. Uh oh. Hold on, I think I might need my laser. Wait, no, that's just a weaver. It's just a weaver. The turret can take care of it, no problem. Ow. Except the turret's broken. It's okay, I can make another one. I need to throw something to blow up those things. Can I... Ah, it's a rock. Yes! Oh my god, we're almost to corruption level 5. Uh, those things are all around here. Yeah. Alright, come on, Angela Wagner. Oh! Complace the turret in just a second. It's so satisfying the way it just gives me so many points. Thanks, Timberdoodle. Scanning target, no alien material detected. Piloting connectome. Uh, file description, performed visualization and simulated exercise for all standard shuttle maneuvers in the skill recorder facility of the Neuromod Division aboard Talus 1. Day set ready for Neuromod installation, yes! Piloting takes one Neuromod. Okay, so good to know. It adds the ability, but you still need a Neuromod to actually be able to do it, so it's a good thing I didn't spend them all. Okay. Now it's time to fucking run. It's a... It's. I don't have any more time stoppers, right? No, and it is definitely going to be level 5 before I get there, but hopefully it won't be level 5 before I get to the tram... Please? Just, please? 
For all I know, at level 5 corruption, the tram won't even work. Oh god, that actually seems likely now that I say it. Shit. Oh god, it's gonna... I'm not gonna get at the tram in time before the next level. There's no reason to rush now. Can't get any higher than... Oh, wait, actually, once we get to the top of level 5, I think it just ejects you. Yeah, so actually, we should kind of rush. Crew Annex, right? Yes. Oh, this is stressful. Attention, everyone. Oh, fucking Our hell. Technopath 5? Claire Witten would like to remind everyone that... Your mom doesn't work on Pythias. You know what? So let's all do I, I don't have time to fight it. I think I just need to lure it away. Our best to practice good restroom etiquette and leave things in as good of condition as we found it. Thank you. Wait a minute, where? Shit. I'm going down? I need to go up, don't I? I don't remember how to get there. Oh, oh no. There's a weaver here. Eat my berry and my medkit. Um. Shit. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put down a turret. Get the weaver, the big one! There you go. Fucker. Okay, um... Scanning target, no Typhon material detected. It's definitely up here. Come with me, Sandhill Crane, you go first. Let me actually switch my abilities to... Electrostatic Burst. Just don't move, just don't move, just don't move. Okay. Uh, I've got one lure left. Where am I going? Um, I should probably just look at the map, huh? I have a map. Let's use the map. That doesn't help. Administration level? Oh, there's the craft. Administration level. How do I get there? Typhon, it's no Typhon. Detected. No Typhon material detected? Are we okay? Was there some hell beast on board? Holy shit, I think we did it. Congratulations, you escaped using the shuttle. Remember, successive escapes in the same run lead to increasingly larger sim point rewards. Okay. That's a lot of points! Reset simulation button. You now have the ability to manually reset the moon-based simulation. Resetting makes all your unlock crew members available again, so you can start a new run. Yeah, so even when you reset, you do still have all the crew members available. So that, that part doesn't reset. Okay. Yeah, and since doing that run, we unlocked two characters. Security Officer Vijay and Director Riley Yu. 
Still need to unlock... Oh, are they... Oh, Claire! I think we saw their computer and read some messages. They're the custodian. Yeah. Key abilities... None. Aw. That's... Sad. I guess it's... That's probably the last character you unlock, because it's probably the hardest to play as, right? I imagine they're not particularly good at combat. Anyway, alright, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to re-enter the simulation as either Riley Yu or Vijay Bhatia.